Hi there, this is a, a bit of a video on uh, the workings of the standard beach uh, trim knob. Uh, just a disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so if you heed my advice you're almost certain to die. So here we have a standard uh, Beechcraft trim knob. Uh, I've got this one, I've got one with the, uh, with the knurled um, surfaces. I've got one with a dimpled surface as well and they are the same uh, in my experience the guts and how they mount and how they work. This one's obviously re removed from the control arm. It's held onto the control arm by three bolts that I've left in place. Those bolts I'll show you just go through uh, this part which is mounted to uh, the control arm that the knob you can rotate around that, in fact I've got this done up too tight so I can loosen that. So the trim knob actually rotates. So this, bit's, this piece here is fixed to the control arm and the knob can rotate on it. This is the piece, the arm that engages with the aileron control mechanism inside the uh, arm and I'll show you how that works uh, and it's the, it is the piece that has the uh, counter wound uh, springs that apply pressure to the aileron control system as you can see uh, this is uh, split in half the trim knob is itself is comprised of two pieces it's the same on the dimpled version and it's a left hand thread and the reason that is, is this is the, where the pilot's sitting here. It's trying to make it intuitive by increasing uh, the friction, resisting rotation of the knob. Uh, you uh, go clockwise at the back to tighten the friction, and you go anti clockwise at the bit at the back to reduce the friction. So that's why it's a left hand thread so that it works intuitively. Now you'll notice as this, I've tightened that up a bit, quite a bit and there's still quite a gap between the front, uh, sorry this is the pilot side, this is the, the bit that's, uh, the, that's closer to the control arm, there's still quite a gap there and the friction's increasing to quite a bit there already. Um, they shouldn't be, have to be tightened up so they're touching each other. Uh, and I've had one that's jammed and I'll show you how to unjam, unjam them, the technique for doing that uh, in later videos. Uh, but uh, you'll see why it shouldn't have to go that far. So if we loosen this off, so what I'm going to do is, is take it apart. So I'm going loosening, loosening, loosening on that left hand thread. Um, okay, so that's the, the, this piece here has got the counter wound springs in it and I'll show you how that works in a later video. This is the piece, those three bolts there, uh, mount the trim knob to the control wheel. And here you can see how we achieve the friction. So that bit bolts onto the control wheel there and these see there's a couple of washers and a spring that goes on there the back part of the knob goes on there and so when we wind this clockwise onto the left hand thread it's slowly squeezing you see that moving there squeezing uh, the friction in the spring and that's increasing as it's as it's wound onto the knob and that increases the resistance to um, rotation so as I as I'm winding that the back bit clockwise it's squeezing those down and increasing the resistance of the knob to turn on that mounting point. So just this piece here, this part here, is mounted to the control column 
this is trim knob is moving. Now if I tighten that up, it makes it harder to rotate. If I loosen it off, then it's much easier for the whole mob to rotate on the mouth.